University of Kentucky. Uh, I, I played this game uh, when I was with Thomas Moore in the 17-18 season. And it, I just, I, 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 don't, I don't remember coaching against a team that is so rock solid, so athletic, and, and, and so explosive at, at, every, at every spot. I, I mean, uh, yeah, Keon Brooks, he wasn't exactly like on the top of our scout report. And, and he just, you know, it seemed like everything he threw up in the first half, seven of 12, four of six from the three point line. Uh, for, it, it's, someone like that is gonna lead you in scoring. Uh, and then you have guys that, you know, like Grady and things that are, that are capable of 30 point nights. Uh, you know, they're, they're very talented and, and it, was, it was tough for us. Uh, but happy with our effort and, and we're uh, thrilled that UK had us down. It's, it's, it's monumental to our community, uh, to the city of Owensboro. Uh, so this, this game meant quite a deal to our school of 750 people and, and we, were, we, we thought we represented well. So uh, we're very appreciative to, to the University of Kentucky having us. Coach, you know, Kentucky's got a roster that's redone. They had 20 assists in this game. I wonder what you thought of the cohesion of the passing share. Right. So they shot 59%. You know, and, and I, I'm watching our team, and I thought that our effort physically was very, very good. You know, we talk a lot about continuous effort on our team and not standing up and resting. And I may see some on film, but I, I, nothing jumped out at me as like Kentucky Wesleyan's just stayed in there not competing. So that said, you're going to shoot 59% when you take good shots. And every shot, that's what was so frustrating about the night. It's like every offensive possession for them, every shot that went up, it was really the, the right shot. It was in rhythm. It was off ball reversals. It was off of one more pass. It was at the rim. So it's, and I, I didn't detect anybody on UK's roster that was out there with an agenda other than getting the best shot. So that, and that was very frustrating to us. And you know, anytime you play a team as athletic as them, as long as they shoot 59%, the, the, the score, you know, the score indicates that. Coach, outside of being a big deal for the school, what does it mean to playing at Rupp Arena, playing against Kentucky actually help your team going forward? So you're obviously you're, you're going to be tested in, in every in every way facet. So getting the ball reversed for us is a big part of our offense. And against you know lesser teams in the, at the Division II level, you can get the ball reversed pretty easily. Tonight, every time they got the ball from one side of it to the other, they really had to work at it because of the length and the athleticism, the way some of the folks on some of the folks, some of the kids on Kentucky's roster could shoot the gaps and, and just boom, be in the be in the gap in, in a split second. So that was very difficult for them uh, just to just to reverse the ball and uh, so so that and, and you know I'll go further. We talked about defensive rebounds that you know if we were going to keep their lead on the boards to single digits, that we were going to have to just make every, it just. Five guys every time. You got to find work every single time. You got to battle every single time, and we did that. And and, and again, the, the ball. It, it just uh, we still didn't. They, they still ended up beating us on the boards by you know. Well, heck, it ended up being eight. We finally got there. They were up, they were up by twelve to fifteen most of the game. Uh, so it, it, it tests your spirit because it it would be very easy for a team with little personality to go up and down with them for a few minutes and get so frustrated it, 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 it takes you completely out of your, you know, out of your game. And, and so we hung in there for 40 minutes. Our best stint was from the eight minute mark to the four minute mark. And that's indicative of a team that was tested physically and spiritually and, and put that behind them and responded. And I'm very proud of our guys for doing that. You said Keon Brooks wasn't exactly at the top of the scouting report. Who was? I say that with the most respect because I, I possibly can. The dude could, he can flat play, but you know, it's it's just, so I've got to be to cut you off, but yeah. I wondered who was at the time. <laughs> well, uh, that's, who was at the top of our scout report? You know, we were, you know, Wheeler, how someone, how someone like that, that, you know, I guess the first instinct is like, they have the ability to shoot the ball with, with, with Washington and Grady it's like those are two players 
that, you know, what, how can you guard them other than just do the best you can? And they're going to score and they're going to make shots. They, they might be at the rim. They might, they're, they're three level players and they do all three levels perfectly. So you just got to do the best you can. Uh, so we talked quite a bit about that. We talked quite about uh, quite a, a bit about the interior presence uh, there and, and, and what that was going to look like with the young man from West Virginia that um, that just looked like an absolute stud at points during the blue white game that we watched. So it, it, you know, really between some of the some of the you know the, the the guys that can go and they have multiple of them that can finish with, with 25 plus per game and uh, and, and the, the the defensive rebounding and, and their, their ability, like if we weren't going to have great offensive possessions, it was going to be a fun night for them in transition. So there were a couple individuals that we kept coming back to, but it was really just a general sense of what we needed to do uh, to compete against Kentucky. And, and a lot of that surrounded uh, defensive rebounding and transition and, and, and trying to key in on a few players that just, you know, if you stand up, if you make a mistake, it's going to be two or three points, and we felt like Washington and Grady, you know, from what we've read and seen, it's like, you know, those. And then Wheeler, he's not, you know, you're not worried about him making six threes a game in the game or anything like that. But there were so many bursts, like from our coaching staff, he would just hesitate to go, and it's like, gosh, you know, that that's he's just so tough and quick and uh, crafty in the interior. There's so our guys did as best we could and got a, got a few charges. We talked about that coming in. Uh, so I, we were, uh, you know, we, we were we were happy about our effort. A lot of different spots, but yeah. So anyway, Keon Brooks got lost, and sure, lo and behold, it's he had a great first half. Hey, you're really the first coach to face a John Calipari team with so many old guys on it since he's been here. Based on what you've seen from them in the past and what you saw tonight, how how was it? How did it show up that they had so many older veteran guys? You talking about Kentucky Wesleyan or University of Kentucky? UK. That yeah. Cal Perry's team, right? Kentucky. Yeah. So that's a tough question. You know, I I, I think that uh, they had the opportunity to really uh, and the scholarship money to to go out and and sign some veteran guys that have won a lot of games at a very very high level. And between Grady Wheeler. And I'm not going to try to pronounce the last name, but Chibwe. About that. So uh, they they've done that, and I, I think that, like and you alluded to the to the, how well you know in sync they are offensively, and how agenda less they are offensively. Uh, you're, it's my belief that you know when you have experience, when you have guys that have been there and done that before, uh, it, it can it can make for a quicker assimilation, you know, and and, and I think they have the opportunity this year to do that. They look very, very polished. I thought they were enthusiastic out there. I, I thought that, you know, they, they represented themselves very well, just in, just their, their general sense of uh, their body language, you know, and, and, and that's the mature teams, older teams are going to be better at that stuff than younger teams. And, uh, we're looking forward to rooting them on as the season goes along.